let me tell you one. Let me tell you what one of the problems is. Let me just tell you what one of the problems is. We don't need to talk about all the problems because they might we might just flood out here. We got to figure this out. One of the problems is we can't. You can't view her through the lens of oppression because that's not her story. And you can't tell me, well, Yvette, she just had two parents who were professional people. That puts her in an, that puts her in an elite category in terms of. Like where she like being a new immigrant when her parents got here in this country. But let me also say one other thing. You know how selection goes a lot of the time, right? But she went to that Exeter school. Y'all remember I talked about her cousin went there too, Roxanne Gay. They both went to the most elite boarding school in America. You don't know another ADOS Negro who went to that school, but two people in her family did, and it's sixty-five thousand dollars a year today. So, ladies and gentlemen. She comes from an elite background. If two people in her family were able to go to that school, that's just what it, the fact that she even knows about that school. I didn't even know that there was that that school existed until I was looking up Roxanne Gay. Because I was trying to figure out where she come from. So I didn't even know that school existed until I looked up. So I that's how I figured it out. You got two people in your parent and your family who went to the most elite school. In America, you don't get to talk about oppression. You don't get to talk about blackness. This is why we can't do black. This is why we got to do ADOS. You don't get to talk about blackness in the same way that I would talk about uh, uh, being oppressed or sharecroppers or coming from oppression or lynchings and and, 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 and and convict leasing. You don't get to talk about that. Like, you don't get to talk about that as somebody who didn't come from that. You don't get to use that. You don't get to be understood through the lens of oppression. You don't get to be understood through that. You cannot be understood through that. And you certainly cannot be defended through that. You cannot be. You cannot be defended. You have to be. Listen, you know how you know how she has to be defended? The same way you would defend um, Vivek Ramaswamy if he was over there. The same way you would defend uh, 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 a Latino man who is president of Harvard who came from, who came from uh, Mexico or Ecuador or whatever. His parents came from there. That's how you defend. You cannot defend her with what happened to us. That did not, what happened to her did not happen to us. And what happened to us did not happen to her. We have two very different backgrounds. And you are using this, this dimwit, Nicole Hannah-Jones, is using all of this political capital that we have and squandering it on this mediocre lady whose story has nothing to do with our story. And you know what I feel like? I, I feel like when this happens, they call up the Black Girl Magic Brigade and say, come on out here, we got to talk to you. You want to still get these, Nicole Hannah-Jones, you want to still get paid $30,000 of speech? Well, come outside. Because we need to make sure that, 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 that Claudine Gay don't get, don't, don't get fired. So make sure you come outside. Get your braids on, girl. It's, I child, you put them things in summertime. It's wintertime, and you still got summertime beach braids in, and you didn't really need them. <laughs> Y'all ain't got me talking. You didn't really need them. You know, you know why Ada's women put braids in in the summertime. Want to go swimming and doing stuff? Don't want to have to worry about hair. That's not your girl, Nicole. You be, you be, you be acting up. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. You don't get to use our story. You don't get to exploit our story. Listen, we 